Welcome back, guys. All right. Happy New Year's, by the way. The first post-Christmas episode we're having here, so it's time to take down these lights and the tree. There we go. Much easier than in real life. Should start from the top. Ooh, laggy there for a second. So, how's everyone doing today? Fantastic, I hope. Hope you're staying warm. It is cold where I live. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. In other news, Depending on when this video goes up, if it goes up today, in two days, if it goes up tomorrow, in one day, if it goes up in two days, today, it's my birthday! Woo! Yay for me. Alright, so, very exciting. Very, very exciting, indeed. Alright then. Enough chit chat. We've, uh, I've increased the size of this. I don't think I did that on camera. Trying to get some more. Make the efficiency of that quicker. Um, there's now ice underneath here. Why? Well, because... Um, I don't have any ice to show. A little bucket of water. A bucket of water. Experiment time. Do, 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 do. Over here to where potentially there is any more ice. And they're pulling away! <laughs> nope. Close enough. Um... Take it, water, and you throw an item in it, and the water flows, or the item flows, you know, about that fast. If you did not know, you take water, you put it on ice, you throw an item in it, guess what happens? Whoa, look at that bad boy go. Granted, those uh, melons and um, pumpkins aren't really going far enough that it really makes that much of a difference how fast they get to the hopper, but I had ice to spare. I thought it was, I don't know. I wanted to do it, and I stand behind my decision, and yeah. That's that. That's just, that's why it happened. That's how it happened. And, um, it is what it is. So, sorry if I just get all freaked out on you. So, mission for today, um, pour water everywhere, mission one, accomplished, there we go, got my dining room table set up, it's fancy, I know, down to the basement, um, still working on the potion room, got it all the way set up, this little water here is to, um, fill bottles with get this all set up these is where these <laughs> um, I, this is where the ingredients go and in retrospect um, well, I can no this is going to have to be changed because I need to put the items in the actual droppers not the hoppers so I'll have to fix that eventually although well, technically yeah, technically I can just do it from below Irregardless, we've got a big field of big field of to do to do. I can't talk today. Apologies. Big field of nether wart grown out in the desert. So Ooh. time to convert this lapis into blocks. 
because we're trying to grow as much stuff as possible for um, brewing. And this next project we're going to take on today, or start the prep work for today, um, is semi-involved with then with a string. Keeping the arrows. Put the book in here, why not? Um, recently, do, 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 you can go there too. I need the dispenser. I need a handful of dispensers. Um, I think it was Jeb. Could be wrong. Um, tweeted out about do, 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 a new way that they're going to be doing enchantments coming up. And it's going to involve in the example he gave it was um, gold ingots. So if there's one thing I always have a lack of it is gold. So boop, boop. that worked well. So what we're going to do is oh, there we go um now this goes here and then the redstone goes there there we go and anyway um we need to build a gold farm is what we need to build. So is that all the bows and arrows again? Gold farm. Easiest way to farm gold is obviously zombie pigmen. And the easiest way to get zombie pigmen anymore is through uh, crafting large nether portals or systems of such and there we go anyway nether portals and having them come through Unfortunately, that does require a lot of obsidian, which we do not have. But that will be solved after today. I've got about a stack. I, I, I put a stack, or made a stack. Mind a stack. There we go. Use your words. Just the old-fashioned natural way. And... Uh, it grew boring and difficult very very quickly um, mainly because it takes forever to mine and then you know your lava pools run out very quickly 15 to start so today boop, boop, we're going to go ahead and build ourselves a do this droppers an obsidian generator probably over in the desert the desert is quickly becoming my go to uh, area for uh, for just random junk that I don't feel like having around so I'll just put stuff over there and some, you know it's just out of the way necessary but out of the way all right, do, 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 do. got my bucket of water, and away we go to sleep. Perchance the dream. Meet you guys over there.
All right, here we are. <laughs> Sorry about that. My voice got real weird there for a second. Here we are. Um, you're over into Obsidian Fields. Or Nether Ward Fields right now. Um, it's pretty basic. It's just a bunch of Nether Ward. I eventually would... Uh, I'm going to build it somehow uh, more automated. But for right now, it's just a big freaking plot of uh, soul sand in another word but you know you know first thing that we need to get done let's have lots of water over here <clears throat> pardon me just finished drinking a pop in my voice is all Serpy? Is that would that be accurate? Serpy? Hmm. So. Alright, we're gonna go ahead. We got what? Fifteen, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fantastic. I have a tutorial that I am actually, as we're building this, uh, or as I'm doing this right now, is being uploaded to YouTube, so uh, forgive me for not talking too much about what I'm doing, but there exists a glitch in Minecraft that says that if, if uh, water and lava both hit redstone dust at the same time for some reason the game transforms that dust into uh, let's put this all the way over here into obsidian definitely one of the stranger glitches doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me but you know it means that I can Well, that's annoying. <laughs> really? <sighs> anyway, that means that I can mine myself some obsidian without having to uh, constantly be in danger in a cave or a ravine. Or This is a virtually painless way to do it. Water's acting crazy. There we go. Yep, still one more. Because by my calculations, I'm going to need somewhere in the vicinity of... Oh, what was it? 3,000 or so blocks of obsidian. So... It's going to take a while. I mean, even with this... It's still going to take a long while. But anything that it's worth doing. It's worth doing right, I guess. Just because that'll bother me. Alright, 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 alright. Perfect. All right, all right, all right. Oh, it just occurred to me that I'm going to need 15 freaking buckets of lava. Hmm. That's not ideal. There we 
we go. So in other news, how was everyone's holiday? Hopefully it was good. Um, I have found myself to be, um, what's the term, uh, cash rich. Oh, except that's work. Um, following the holidays, um, a lot of people in my family are not ever sure what to get me, so I end up with a lot of cash, and I'm thinking of spending said cash on um, the new consoles. Currently leaning fairly heavily toward an Xbox One. That's probably just because I've always been an Xbox gamer. So. That's probably the reason why. Alright, I need to hunt up some iron and get some buckets and I'll be... Well, I wouldn't say right back. It might take a little while. But I'll definitely be back. Boop. I had to do <laughs> terrible, terrible things get all these lava buckets. Terrible. On a semi-related note, we are now all but completely out of iron. Again. So maybe, just maybe, one of these days here in the near future we'll actually get started on iron golem farm that I've long talked about building but haven't hmm. <laughs> never have a crafting bench when you need one We need some repeaters. I need a less squeaky mouse is what I need. Okay, 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 okay. That doesn't need to be there. Do 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 be do be do be do be do be do do two three four and five put in the self reset No. No! Actually, let's make sure it works. Yeah, it worked, but not how it's supposed to. Hmm. Go away, not today. Bye bye, lava. Whoop. Only one way. Why are you not stupid cobblestone? Oh. We have an issue. I'll be back. Alright, got her all rigged up. Auto stop over here with the repeaters. Got the redstone laid out, hit the button. 
Boom! Obsidian. Shuts back off. Obsidian get there. The lava gets sucked back in. And old fortune's favorite here goes ahead and takes makes short work of the obsidian. So it takes a little bit over four rounds to get a stack of obsidian. Takes maybe about a minute ten to get it set. Hit the button, mine it out. It might be a little long, I'm not sure. I haven't really timed it, that's just a guess. So borrowing time spent repairing the pick. Ooh. We got a misfire. Um in theory it shouldn't take too long. Granted, if things like that happen again, where I don't even know what the heck happened. Irregardless, we've got about two stacks of obsidian. Uh, I'm going to start planning it out. We're going to start... I think it's one of those projects where we can go ahead and build it as we go. You know, we don't need to gather up all two grand worth of uh, obsidian. We can go ahead and... this party started there we go all right all right guys <clears throat> pardon me you might see that ominous black structure floating in the distance is the beginning of our gold farm um doing a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of farming of uh, obsidian it takes And it's miserable, but a little bit. It's almost night time too. But it is what it is. <sighs> do, 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 do. I guess we're gonna have to do a combination of dirt and cobble to get up there. Guys, I'm currently baking up the rest of my sand. I had my inventory to make glass to form the drop tube. A lot of this is probably just going to be built either off camera or in super fast mode. There we go. Alright. Here's the principle behind it. Excuse me. Um, it'd be a two wide portal. Four wide. Six. Eight. Ten. I should need to put one more layer out there. But, um, all of these we'll spawn pigmen and we'll put something along the edge here so they can't walk out so as they wander they're not going to notice that this is a hole they'll fall um, it's a very kind of passive farm I guess would be the best way to explain it it uh, doesn't require any like pistons or wire to push them or you know you know I think. Alright. Oh my. Um feather falling. I'm going to procure... Actually, won't take too long at all. Um, I need a flint and steel. Test that out. Make sure I counted correctly. Do 
just to find some gravel. Sand and dirt, sand and dirt, and clay. I'll be back. All right, we got some tools. <clears throat> we also have, ooh, handy dandy little pond down there. We got some lights gone too. Death from above. There we go. All right, let's, without further ado, let's check to make sure I counted correctly. Boom! Okay. That's that. So, we're gonna build up this side over here first. Maybe, hopefully. Nope, you don't go there. You do not belong! All right, this is gonna get boring real fast. Well, that worked. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep, and I'll be right back, and we'll fire up the portals and see what happens. All right, heading back. Can't see it from the house. Let's see. There it goes, starting to pop into view. <laughs> she a beaut, a big black blight in the sky. Got some glass. Boop, boop, boop. Continue the tube. Can go ahead and get rid of this water. So, just two minor details left. the tube, which really isn't that necessary. There we go. Um, item number two. Need to put something along the edges here. so they can't walk out this way. And I think, boop, that should do very nicely right there. Oh, gotta get rid of this too. I 
I mean, it's going to be ugly regardless. But if I can get rid of any of this stuff like this that I put up just temporarily. Well, this needs to go away for the portal sake anyway. And yes, I did just stutter a little bit there, I realize. that back down. So, one, two, and is it right? Yeah, there we go. I think I put it a little bit whew, higher on that side, but Definitely lower on the side. It doesn't matter, really. It's not really that big of a deal. Alright. Alright. Now, get rid of the torches. I don't know why I didn't do that originally. To be perfectly honest. Now just to figure out the optimal way to light these bad boys up. Outside in, right? That's all of them. It's hard to tell. Sort of cool. Now the real question is, will she produce? I built it, I'm pretty sure, so that the pigmen will have half a heart when they land not because I want the experience I take that as a positive sign but because um, I want to be able to Use my looting sword on them. Woo. a lot better than I expected it to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and um, dig myself a hole. Sort of. for a little bit and be back in like say an hour see what happens yeah, nothing can get to me excellent be back in an hour all right well left the farm running I was down here AFK uh, you might notice I put some uh, hoppers down here. Um, I was overnight in here, um, and enough of them spawned in a section and were glitching out that was forcing my character to move just enough that I actually starved to death. So, um, that was unfortunate, but it happened. Um... So we changed it up, and I let it run for a couple more hours, and it works. It works fairly well. I mean, it doesn't work you know, super fast or anything like that, but for what it is, it works very, very well. Um, so I got it set up right here. Um, it, I mean, from the look of, you know, that, that doesn't look like too grand, but there's also this. So you're probably wondering why the beacon? I came over here for his out. Oh, yeah. Why the beacon, you might ask? Very good question. Well, I'm going to rebuild my. Um, <sighs> obsidian generator right here. I tore it down up that way. That's why I've got all this lava on me. And then I can uh, mine away some obsidian. Wow. In range of the farm. And then I can get enough obsidian. I can build maybe another one here. I would like to build four of these. Like one, two, three, four. And then have a platform underneath where they all flow into one central. You know. You get what I'm trying to say, right? <laughs> all right, guys. Well, I think that's enough adventure for one day, so thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.